Wonderful and amazing Shara Man here. In this video, we're going to be talking about self doubt, uh, fear of intimacy, self sabotage, and relationships. We're also going to be talking about the wonderful and amazing surrender. <laughs> uh, pretty much what we talk about all the time on this channel. Um, so, if if you don't know what surrender is, first of all, it's the process of allowing yourself to fully feel your emotions. Um, sounds really simple. Uh, is, but also really fucking difficult for people to grasp as well. As you will find out in the question that we are about to go through. Now, this was a question by Katrina that posted on my Facebook page. Uh, so thank you so much for reaching out. Thank you for asking this question. Um, she says, you're a blessing. Thank you. I'm not sure how I stumbled upon your page, but I love listening to you. Thank you. Although I have a hard time understanding what you mean by feeling it and letting it go. That's the thing. It's a very experiential thing. So that's why I'm like, everyone book a call. Katrina, book your fucking call. Um, but it's like, it's a natural, natural process. As we feel things, we tend to process them. As we process them, we have the option of letting that feeling go. So if you're, for example, experiencing self-sabotage, uh, and you have that feeling, it's like surrendering to that feeling of self-sabotage, surrendering to how the self-sabotage makes you feel. There's a lot of elements to it. That's why I have a constructed coaching call or a constructed coaching program or things like that to help people facilitate through this process. If you've someone who's already claimed your free call, um, hi, how are you? If you're someone who hasn't, like Katrina here, you can book it now. Um, but the thing is, it's so, surrender is so fucking simple that people miss it sometimes. It's so fucking simple that people miss it. Uh, I know it took me a very long time to like fully understand it. And even now, as the master and teacher of it, I still am understanding it. So, goes, I seem to be the person who fears getting hurt, so I self sabotage Humans, am I right? Uh, I create issues where there is none. Humans. I can't even have sex without the constant question in my head, like, if I give him my soul, will he hurt me? Now let's go back a second. It says, I create issues where there are none. Now this is a very common thing. This often comes down to the uncomfortability with love. It's not that it's a self-sabotage, it's a uncomfortability with the good things. It's like you've spent your life basically having relationships that probably weren't the best. Now this is my guess because obviously I'm not on a call with Katrina, with you, but um, most of the time, this is what ends up happening. It's like, it's a lack of comfortability. So it's not that you are self-sabotaging, it's that you are returning to what is comfortable, which is self-doubt. Once we surrender and we heal the self-doubt, there is no, there's no reason to return to it, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, if I give him my soul, will he hurt me? So, so you have a fear of being hurt. And then she says, like, maybe I don't even know what love is. You fucking know what love is. Everyone knows what love is. You've had love for your whole life. Even if you haven't, you have an idea. If I say love to you, it's like, what is that? And if you doubt yourself, which is what this is all about, if you doubt yourself, the solution is to doubt yourself. How will you know what you doubt unless you fully surrender to that doubt? Um, what if I hurt him because I'm so lost to myself? So it's not only that, it's a fear of hurting. Again, very common. The fear of being hurt is more popularly widely known. The fear of hurting someone else is extraordinarily common. It's extraordinarily common in fucking just humans. It's like, but if I lead them on, will I hurt them? So this is the fear of hurting someone else because they themselves, Katrina herself, is, at the time of messaging this at least, is... Uh, the fear of hurting someone else because she fears that she's so hurt herself. Um, you look, you. I have a rule. It's like you can't heal, you can't fix something you think is broken, if that makes sense. So you can't heal yourself. You can't get past this if you think that there's something intrinsically wrong with you. In fact, that's the first thing to heal. Um, so she says there's. Also, one of my biggest things is being self-conscious that he's faking it because I can't be good enough. Let's be honest. If you're having sex with someone, if you're a woman having sex with a man and he ejaculates, he ain't faking it, right? And if you're, I was going to say, if you're a bit worried, 
have a bit of a taste. It's like, oh, this is talcum powder and water or something like that. It's like, he ain't faking it. But I get it because you're saying, because I can't be good enough. Remember what we said, this is a, re it's not self-sabotage, it's the return to the norm. And the norm here is uh, situations that probably aren't desirable um, because I'm not good enough. So it's like a fear question, like, am I good enough? Now, most of the time, stuff like this is actually inherited. Uh, we don't, we're not born questioning ourselves. Someone else questions us because they were questioned. So then we start to question ourselves. That's why we surrender. We surrender to that self-doubt so it can heal. It has the space to heal itself. The human body, the human mind, is fucking beautiful, mate. Beautiful. Um, uh, because I can't be good enough. Fear questions like, what if he's thinking bad things about me and only doing this and acting amazing not to hurt my feelings. Well, to be honest, if he's if he's only having sex with you to not hurt your feelings, you clearly are an amazing person for him to try and please you. Either that or he's got some deep emotional trauma that's like, well, I better do it because if I don't, I'll hurt her. It's like, it's like, I hope that me saying this back to you now is enough to help because it's like, it's like sometimes when someone else says it to us, we're like, oh shit, that's, it's, the, I was like, I get what he's saying. Uh, so in turn, what do I do? I self-sabotage. No matter how many times I tell myself there's nothing wrong with me, those feelings are quickly squashed by my soul telling me, if you were good enough, so many people wouldn't have hurt you. That's fucking, that, I, that, that hits me in the core. If you were good enough, so many people wouldn't have hurt you. You want to know the truth, though? It's not that you weren't, it's like, it's not that you weren't good enough. You just didn't know how to handle it. That's it. It's... We, we are not equipped. So in, ironically, it's, I'm essentially saying you aren't, weren't good enough. <laughs> but in, a, in an interesting way. I don't know your situation personally. I'd like to. I don't know it personally. But the thing is... It's sometimes... Pain is like glasses, glasses on our face, tinted glasses. When we have tinted colored glasses from pain, no matter what happens, we might end up turning a situation into another painful situation because we've got those glasses on. We've got the pained glasses on. So it's not that you weren't good enough. It's not that people didn't hurt you. It's that that was the perspective in which you viewed it. And the perspective is always a reflection of how we feel deep down. As we were growing up, or as we were learning, or as even as an adult. Someone said we weren't enough and we fucking believed them. Or maybe we had that thought. And we didn't know how to handle it. So in a way you weren't good enough. And I mean that in the nicest way. You didn't know how to handle those emotions. But that's fucking everyone. That's why I exist. I swear to God. If I didn't have to do this, I fucking wouldn't. I like doing it. But I wouldn't. <laughs> I'd go on and do something else. Why? Because there'd be no need for me. People hurt you. People hurt you. So here's the next thing that's really important what she says. I have felt it, but I still fear it. How do I get past that? Remember, sometimes it's not the emotion, it's the emotion about the emotion. So if people, are, if you felt it, that's good. That's surrender, you felt the pain. Congratulations, you did the first step. You might have to do it more. Sometimes with deep pain, as you surrender and as you heal it, there's more of it. 
And it's not that it didn't work. It's that it's a different aspect of it. It's like when you surrender and heal a part of the pain, your body and your mind knows how to handle that aspect of the pain. But if the pain is so big, it might take a lot of that process. But remember the thing, it eventually runs out. It eventually runs out. But here's the thing, right? We said it's not the emotion. It's the emotion about the emotion. But you're still fearing being hurt. You're still fear, fearing the pain. So you might have to surrender to that feeling of the fear. You let yourself fully be afraid. Eventually you'll be more fearless because you'll realize that being afraid ain't so fucking bad. And because that's the case, you'll actually let yourself fully feel that hurt. A lifetime of pain. I can honestly guarantee you in a situation like this, with some people, this is what happens, they have like a horrible week and then it's like they never had, after they learn to surrender, they have like a fucking horrible week of surrendering a particular thing and then they never have that issue ever again. It's fucking great. Um, so how do I get past that? One step at a time. Keep surrendering. Either that or book a fucking call. You got two options here, humans. This goes for everyone watching this video. You can either figure it out for yourself or you can book a fucking call, right? Right now, currently, first one's free. Whether you ever read this comment or not, I guess I needed to write it to see the pain in words. Great. Hoping somehow rereading it could fix all my damage, but I think I'm too far gone. Thanks for trying! <laughs> now, I've only got a couple minutes left on this video, so I'll do my best. The feeling of I'm too far gone is the feeling that needs to be surrendered first. You need to let yourself fully feel that you are too far gone. Because remember how we said about tinted glasses, right? Well, you've got the pain glasses. You've got the fear of being in hurt glasses. And then on top of that, you've got the glasses of it's too far gone. So it's so fucking thick. There's so many filters through. You can't see the world as it actually is. You see it through filters of pain, fear of pain. And well, I guess that's me. I'm just a broken person, aren't I? The truth is, no one is too far gone. Scars. Scars. Look at a little scar on my hand from when my dog bit me when I was a kid. All right? My family dog growing up. Scars might not heal, but emotional scars do. No matter how hard, no matter how deep, no matter how heavy, they can, they will, they do. They have the capacity to. But it is always and always will be one step at a time. And I'm here to support you through this journey. That is what the point of the calls are. You can literally do this by yourself. You can literally do this by yourself. But jumping on a call, experiencing it for yourself, shows you how to do it. And doing it with me, whether you do one, whether you do a lot, whether you do a program, whatever, is so fucking good because it's like we are shaving off years. It's like I, I will work with someone, and I, I mean this with utmost respect. It's like they're like, oh, I've done the therapy, I've done the this, I've done the that. And then it's like after a call, they're like, yeah, it's fine now. I'm like, fucking hell. And if it's not 100% fixed, it's like we make huge headway on it. That a problem that we think is normal, ends up re we end up realizing that it ain't. It's so, we think it's so normal because we're used to having these lenses on our eyes. We're used to having the pain lenses that we stop ourselves from seeing things actually how they are is that we are magnificent, beautiful creatures that are capable of so much more than we realize. All we needed to do was just take off those goddamn motherfucking glasses so we could look in the mirror, look at ourselves, look at the world, and see it for actually how it is. Beautiful and radiant, just as you are. So have a fucking great day. Have an amazing weekend. This has been grand. Um, every day gets better and better, and so do you. All right, talk to you soon.